I hate OBS. If this, okay. Oh my gosh, can I like, how I just like fell out of my chair. Can I just like rant for a little bit? Can I just like rant a little bit? First of all, is this back? This is back. I rant for a little bit, okay? I am livid. Okay, maybe not livid, okay, I'm chill, but I'm like confused. I'm so bad with computers. Like I just don't know what, how to check what's wrong with my computer, you know what I mean? Like I know the obvious, like obvious issues, right? Here's my obvious issue is my graphics card is poo poo. It's like it has been poo poo for the past years, years, multiple years, right? My graphics card has always been poo poo. So I, like I understand how to fix around that. Like, oh, obviously lower your graphics settings. Okay, I always do that anyway. Lower your resolution. Okay, got it. I know how to do that. But as soon as something, like as soon as I figure out what works for me and then something goes wrong after that, I get confused and that's exactly what's happening right now. I don't even know what the heck is wrong with my computer. It's like, I have a feeling, I don't think this is true, but I have like a, a deep feeling that when I was, I was cleaning my computer, because recently I cleaned it for the first time in literal years. <laughs> I've, yeah, I know. Okay, listen, before anyone starts jumping at me like, Ari, right, you don't know, clean your computer, you're supposed to clean- Girl, I didn't know I was supposed to clean it, okay? I just kind of recently found it out because of you guys, because you guys told me like, Ari, right, clean your computer. And I was like, what? You have to clean it. So I did. I feel like, I don't think I messed anything up because I didn't, I didn't really touch anything. I only uh, used the air compress, compressed air thing. I just kind of blew all the, the dust and stuff. So I didn't touch anything. So I don't, I don't think I broke anything, but I feel like after I cleaned it, my streams have been really dumb for some reason. Like things just kind of go wrong like all the time. Maybe not all the time, but more times, more often than not, you know what I mean? And I don't know how to fix it. And since I don't have any like streamer friends or like uh, just like friends who like know stuff about computers more than I do, I don't know how to ask for help, you know what I mean? I just Google it, Google stuff, and then like try to find a solution around that. But if it doesn't work, then boohoo. Anyway, the reason why I'm saying that is because like, y'all saw my streams like before Especially Minecraft streams, because I used to stream Minecraft every week. You saw, like, nothing ever goes wrong. Maybe I should knock on wood. I do have some wood here. Knock, knock. You see that nothing ever goes wrong, so how come after I clean my computer, coincidentally, things just start going wrong? But the thing is, like, it's not, like, it's not my internet, because my internet's fine. It's literally just my something in my computer is messing up. OBS or something like that where it just always wants to stutter and stuff like that. But anyway, I digress It's just weird because I was playing portal literally yesterday and portal I feel like is a more intensive game than minecraft is also I'm gonna run around because I just want to see how it looks like on stream <laughs> I want to see it because I changed some settings, but not like a lot. I didn't really do that much I just want to see if stuff will work now. Please say yes Please say yes, the mobile delay is really killing me. I can't <laughs> No, it's not working. Are you kidding? Okay. 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 I have a solution. I have a solution. Why? Okay. I do have a solution. Here was what I was thinking before all this, right? Because I was thinking, you know, if my computer's having all these issues and stuff, then perhaps I will do something else today. Oh my God. <laughs> of course it's this song. I was thinking perhaps I'll do something else today because I don't know what's wrong. I think maybe like some games just don't want to cooperate and some games do. It's like I said, Portal works, which is weird. That's the weirdest thing is that Portal works. It worked perfectly yesterday. And I'm just confused, you know what I mean? A little bit confused. So my alternative idea for today I did prepare a little bit. I know I said I'm usually unprepared for like literally everything, but I was a little bit prepared, like right now. <laughs> My alternative thing to do was I was going to draw because you know how long it's been since I've done an art stream? Jeez, it's been like two months or something like that since I've done any art related stream. Or, okay, we can do, we can either, we, as if you guys are going to do it with me, we can either draw or we can play Corpse Party. Those are the two options. I think there's two people watching, or one person watching, I don't know, some two-ish people watching right now. And I need help deciding. Or I can flip a coin, that can work too. 
Or shall I play Corpse Party? Or should I draw? Again, I haven't done Arts Human in a while, but also Corpse Party, I started it in January and I have not finished it yet. I only finished uh, chapter one really recently. I think maybe like a week ago. I can do either. I don't know. I'm leaning towards art because like I said, I haven't done it in a long time, but I feel like it's going to go really bad because I haven't done it in a long time. I don't know. I can make a little coin flip simulation real quick because I actually have a coin with me. It's funny. I don't have a coin with me. Also, my friends came over like maybe a lot, not last week, like a week and a half ago or something. And one of them brought like a napkin with them and put it in my room and they never took it with them. So there's just like a napkin right there. Anyway. <laughs> or, no, 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 we'll just keep it to those two options. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm. I feel like the safest option would be Corpse Party, honestly. Because we haven't done it. We have to finish it. Like, it's been so- yeah, let's do Corpse Party. What should my stream title be? Minecraft Dumb. Corpse Party. Woo. <laughs> this is stupid. This, this is literally the stupidest thing. I hate my computer so- actually, no, no, no. I shouldn't say I hate my computer so much. Computer- if you're listening right now, I appreciate you for always working at the right times, but also I hate you for not working at the right times sometimes. <laughs> Let's pull up Corpse Party. I'm kind of scared that I wasn't really in the mood to, to you know, to play a horror game today, but... YOLO! Let's just do it anyway! Who cares? Okay, goodbye music. Scared. I'm scared. I'm a little bit scared. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -ba -bum. Yeah, she gonna load? Oh, she is gonna load. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ooh, I'm scared because I haven't played Corpse Party in a while. Okay. I should probably mention that this game got some, uh... <laughs> it's got some, uh... Let's just say it's got some sensitive content in it. So you know what? We're gonna pull up. Oh gosh, that looks awful. You know what? We need a trigger warning. Ah, we don't need trigger. I'm just kidding. If you get easily triggered by something, I apologize in advance. Please don't watch. <laughs> this is such a terrible idea. I don't know why I went back to this. Oh my gosh. This is not a good idea. I don't even remember the controls. Okay. See, okay, so I did chapter- why do I only have one star? Is that- Anyway, I finished chapter one, right? And I still- It took me a month to finish chapter one, let me just say that first. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but now we're on chapter two. I'm scared. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Not on us, too late, I already opened it. Okay, so chapter one, let me recall. Chapter one, uh, who died? Was it, was it, uh, uh, Seiko? No. Was that her name? Seiko, who died? I think? Question mark? And then she died, at, like she hung herself, or she got hung, we, know, we don't know for sure. Uh, which is really dumb. The, her death, like the things that led up to her death were so stupid, right? Actually, let me start this over from the beginning, okay? Because just in case you're watching this VOD or something, or you're just watching right now, and you have no idea what the heck I'm talking about, we're playing a game called Corpse Party, and it's a horror game, right? So basically, the gist of it is that these friends are just chilling in a school, and then this one friend is like, Hey, yo, guys, let's do this ritual thing uh, so we can stay friends forever, because one of their friends is going to like move away soon, right? Then everyone's like, yeah, yeah, let's do the ritual. And so they do it, but then they like cross into another dimension or something and they get stuck in like an alternate reality of the school or something like that because i don't think it's the actual school i think it's an alternate reality i don't know for sure but um yeah so we start off playing with this playing as i should not say playing with 
playing as Naomi and Seiko. And I think Seiko died, but I don't know, one of them died uh, after getting into like a really petty fight. And that's where we left off. And so chapter two. Oh, that's loud. Let's watch the opening. Um, I don't remember any of the voices. <laughs> um, phew, that should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed need in two days. Why can't the boys' class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah. Freaking Kishinuma. <laughs> Kishinuma. Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I've ever had to lift or oh my gosh, most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks, and he expects me to lug around a dang pummel horse. Wow. <laughs> I also just remembered that. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe when I edit this video, I'll talk about it. Um, Naomi, that is one pretty sight. Huh? huh? What is? Yeah, I was about to say, Seiko makes a lot of booty jokes. <laughs> anyway. What? Yours is way cuter. What is happening? Mine's all plump like a duck's. What are you saying? You got what they call childbearing hips. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> it means when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. Oh, jeez. Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Oh. How old are they? Hmm? Oh, I don't like that. <gasps> yeah, okay, so this is where we left off. No. Oh. No! Yeah! No! <laughs> Chapter 2. I wonder, I wonder if we're going to keep playing as Naomi. So I was right. Seiko was the one who died. Dude, the music in this game goes so hard, but it's also really annoying. <laughs> Ooh! We're the teacher. Okay. Um... What voice? I don't know the voices anymore. Honestly, when I edit these videos, if I ever edit these videos, all these voices are going to be so messed up. I apologize in advance. Anyway. Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. All right, all right. Are we going to play as a teacher? Oh, she's with other people. That's good. <sighs> Thanks for doing it for me, because I did not want to make any of those noises. Shinazaki, it's alright. Please calm down. But you heard it too? Outside? Her voice? I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I need to try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it was the building settling. I'll go check it out though, and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? Miss Shishido! You are overdramatic, girl! Shinazaki. This reminds me, I really want to try to play Danganronpa one day. Anyway. It's okay, Teach. I'll keep it. <laughs> We're gonna give this guy the same voice as what's his name? Toma from, from Misao. It's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinazaki. Okay. Or better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance. Until I can verify everyone's safety, I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Alright, sounds good. I mean, well, also, I feel like it would be better if the guy stayed with the kid, you know what I mean? Anyway. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. No! <laughs> Shut up, Ayumi. It's fine. Look, should be fine. Jeez. I'm counting on you, Kishinuma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. Alright, let's go. So, I'm confused. I I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. 
I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. I'm confused because... Can I talk? But when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students, I can feel a newfound energy welling up for a moment. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of a level-headed adult. Valor, thy name is... That... I just completely butchered that. Valor, thy name is Education. Alright, so I'm confused, right? Um, because I feel like... Actually, maybe I shouldn't just go back because they're probably expecting me to go up. But I'm confused. Are they all in the same school? Because it didn't seem like they were all in the same school. Hmm, it's a key, isn't it? I label the thing... Yeah, take it. I hate the picking up sounds. It's so scary. Okay. Uh, no teachers allowed on the third floor. Like, are they all in the same building? It doesn't- it seemed like it is, they are, but at the same time, like, wouldn't they have bumped into each other by now if they were all- if they all plopped in here at the same time? You know what I mean? Anyway. Return home immediately. Those who remain here will go hungry and die of starvation. Well, I'd love to go home, girl. I'd love to go home. That reminds me, poor Monet's all alone. It must be one- Oh, There must be one hungry kitty by now. Oh, she has a cat. Okay, um, we need to find a save though, because I'm not sure if all that's saved. I think this might be 3A. Yeah, okay, let's not go there though. Let's go here first. Or better yet, let me go back, because maybe they have a save point down here, but I just didn't see it. Anyway. Uh, hi guys. <laughs> save? Anyone? Ooh, there's something down there though. Uh, but I can't get to it. Of course I can't. Honestly, like, why can't you just, like, jump over it? Is it really that hard to jump over it? Hey, guys. Hey. It's you. I wonder if Satoshi and the others are safe. They are, sure. Okay. Satoshi is the one who made us do the ritual thing, right? It was like, Hey, guys! We need to all be friends forever! Woohoo! And so she's like, Let's tear apart this <laughs> this doll! There's a strange yellow- Oh, that's gross. Okay. Let's go get this thing that's glowing over here. Hmm? There's something here. Crystal shining with faint purple glow is nestled among the debris in the ground. Yeah, sure, why not? Power stone. Interesting. Can I pat Miss Miss Yui? I think that really was a scream we heard, hmm? Did you find something? I did. Yeah, some kind of gemstone lying on the ground. Looks like a ruby. Or no, probably an amethyst? Kishinuma, you can identify gemstones? No, not really. Shinozaki's the one to ask for that. that Who is Shinozaki again? Is that the girl? Is that so? Well, then maybe I should give it to her. Uh, yeah, why not? Why would I keep it? I guess now is probably not the best time for that. But will you take it and give it to her once she's calmed down a bit? Oh, yeah, that is Ayumi. It might make her feel a little better. Okay. No problem. Power stone. Um, it could be an amethyst. Power? What does what does Ru what does Ruby represent? Does it represent power? I don't even remember. Does she have it? I talked to her. Does she have it? She doesn't have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um. Interesting. All right. How do I check my inventory? I f what? I don't even know what key I click. X. Okay. Uh. Cool, so we're Yui. My name is Yui, Miss Yui, right? Alright, let's go here. I just realized, uh, yeah, 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 people are dead. Okay, I just- Oh, that's severed tongues. Okay, I- I- <laughs> I heard something about this once before, but I never realized how horrific and Oh! Huh? Get away from there. Get away from there. Get away from there. Get away from there. I don't want to go there if it's not saved. Was this open before? Oh, I guess it wasn't, huh? Because... Okay. That makes sense. Um, was I gonna say? The music is, has changed. Last time it was more intense. But this one, it's more, like, dainty. Ooh, hi! Well, those are good, aren't they? Because they're blue. 
Well, if is it a, is this is a teacher, <laughs> are you all? Are you? I can't read. Are you all by yourself? Decided to shop, shaking and shivering. The uh, it's about one A. Did you? One A. One A. Right, wait. We're in one A right now, or we were in one A, but the stairway implied that we are on floor two, right? Because it was like no teachers allowed on the third floor. So unless there's no second floor somehow. I'll have you know, I heard one of my students screaming, and I've set out to find her. I see. Regrettably, as I keep telling people, that won't be possible. This school exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions- I can't read- Dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy diff- Okay, so I was right. They are in different dimensions. Which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another. Or maybe you can find some means of traversing the planes freely, as they do. I like how she's just chill, like talking to its spirit. Consider this a fair warning. Even if you should find this exact spot from which your student scream and emanated, she herself may not be there. And if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard- okay. He, the spirit just explained <laughs> literally everything. It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume. I can't read! My, my mouth is not being able to read right now. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume here. They're fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place uh, only a few minutes ago, or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. Oh, so... Interesting. So, they're all different dimensions, but they're overlaid in different, like, timelines, I suppose. It may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? Urgh. With this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that and I seek scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. Uh, well, it just explained literally everything. Like, literally- <gasps> Literally ev- Oh, that's a bad spirit. Oh. Step aside. Why don't you screw off, you dang corporeal- Corporeal? Corporeal? An earthquake? That's a bad spirit. You just pissed it off. Uh oh. Of course. Of course. <laughs> In all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals of, 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 of all <laughs> are you school teachers. All you care about is your own well being. She's literally looking for her students, but okay. You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. This is really, really hurt. Uh, I wouldn't have ever guessed. Thanks for telling me. You're all the same, every last one of you, and I won't be taken by uh, in. Okay, given up. Taken in. When you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance because you sure you wouldn't want to get involved. Because you sure oh you because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem, children, and chip away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. You're not disciplining them. You're just raging at them. That's not... I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students. Not once. Y you're wrong. I know, she seems really nice. Especially since, like... She even stopped, like, at the beginning of the game. Did she, like, literally stop by to check on them? All of your students are destined to starve to death in these gosh-forsaken halls if they don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first. There's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. That's why you're salty. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Am I supposed to be doing something right now? Or, like, am I really just dying? Any last words? I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Jeez. Spare me. <laughs> Come again? Spare my students. What was that? Please, I don't care what happens to me. Just please, spare their lives. They're not your children. You're not their mother. Are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar. 
Did you know? When you die in this accursed place... Accursed? What the heck does accursed mean? <laughs> uh -huh. uh, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable. And you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day forevermore. Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. No, spare my students. It's fine. Don't you harm a hair on their heads, you hear me? Tch. You are one stubborn little person. How did I just die by a cabinet? Or was that cabinet full of, like, knives and stuff? Was that what that said? Probably why I'm, like, dying really horribly. This is excruciating. I think my ribcage is broken. It feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I am losing consciousness. <laughs> Does it hurt? Aw, oh, poor baby. Your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. <laughs> my grandma's just walking past my door. Everybody. Live. Oh no. I love you. Did I really- Did I actually have a choice to spare her? I mean, to not kill her? I mean, like, I didn't really establish any connection with her, so I don't feel that bad, but like... That's kind of unfortunate. Meanwhile... Uh, oh yeah, the, these guys. Whoa, another earthquake? Oh, I don't like that noise. I think it's over. What's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We gotta go search for Miss Shishido. I cannot say her name for the life of me. What if she comes back while we're gone, and then we miss each other along the way? We're going! Uh, alright, alright already, but if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? Well, I know where she is. <laughs> How about we leave her a note? Shinazaki, do you have anything I could write with? I've got a pen. But no paper, huh? Well, there's always a teacher's desk. Miss Huey, we've gone to find- We've got to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? Oh, the wrong voice. Whatever. Blunt. And kind of sloppy. It's your fault we have to leave her a message at all, you know? That's true. But she might be in trouble. Okay, okay. Just don't cry. We'll find her. Well, I know exactly where she is. Do you want me to show you? I know exactly where she is. Uh... Mishishido is all the way over here. Oh, Interesting. What the? Looks like a dead end. Did this happen? Yeah, I just heard his voice for the first time. <laughs> My voice for him is not fitting at all. <laughs> okay. Um, what the? Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during that last earthquake? Mishishido, where are you? I'm really worried. She's right there, <laughs> but I guess we can't go. Uh, the thing did say, like, no teachers on the third floor, so perhaps we should go there. I'm sure there's nothing in that room, so let's just go up already. Yep. So now we can go up here, because there's no teachers allowed on the third floor. Woohoo. Require any name tags from corpses. Please, please bring them for me. Okay, gotcha. Um, only one door here. Oh, gosh, jeez. What the? Ouch! Can I go back? <laughs> okay, no, obviously. Uh, uh-huh. How unsettling. Okay, uh-huh. Alright, cool. Uh, so there's only one more other place I can go to. Require- oh, I already read that. Which is this door down here. This one. I'm sure there's nothing in here, is there? Pretty sure. Pretty, pretty sure there's nothing in here. Unless there's something here. Human hair. Cute. 
Bugs, amazing. Will this same thing happen? No. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, whatever, yeah, okay. Okay, I got it, I, I understand, don't worry. <laughs> it's cold in here. Not to mention dark and scary. Hey, Shinazaki, do you have any more of those candles, like the one- <gasps> Candles? I do. Candles? 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 How about we light one up and take a quick breather? They give off some heat, right? Sure. Candle? 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 Candle! This candle of mine really is kind of warm. How did you even light it up in the first place? Yeah, it is. Let me save, please. <gasps> let me in! Let me save! Let me save! Hey, 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 let me save! Oh, interesting. My previous data got wiped out from the last chapter. Okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome. Maybe there will be something back up here. Oh, I don't know. Let's go check down here first because I don't remember if there's anything down here. I don't think there was, but I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to try. Uh, oh, this is unlocked now. That was new. What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class Rep Shinazaki's famous Scary Times candles. There's not a student in 2-9 who isn't intimately familiar with them, right? You kidding? There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kisaragi for a reason. So how about you leave the candles, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. If we light some candles like this, all throughout this school building. It'll be like little signal flares for Moshida and the others. Let them know that you and me and Miss Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Yeah, I guess. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if she if it makes her feel better, I mean, I guess so. The more times I get to save, the better. Uh, come on, let's go. Okay. Let me save. <laughs> I don't care how many candles you leave, I just want to save. I don't care. All right, all right, all right. Ooh. All right. Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, hey guys. Though <laughs> these are human bones. Yep. Oh gosh, no. Yeah? Uh-oh. That was a real cough. Wow. That was a throaty cough. That was like... <laughs> uh, are you okay, Shinazaki? Why did I say it like that? <laughs> uh, I'll be fine. I'm just... hyperventilating a little. I can't speak. Come on. We have to find Mishishido. Yeah. Where the heck is Satoshi? That Satoshi. If you were here, I bet Shinazaki would be a whole lot calmer. What are you standing around for? Let's get out of here. Alright, already. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh. Ooh, what is that? Decaying skeletal remains, middle school, yeah, any clothing, okay. Wait, I recognize that. I recognize this. Interesting. The four frame photos. Okay. What the heck kind of room is this? It's not like any other classroom I've ever seen. Yeah, that is kind of weird, huh? Hey, Shinazaki? My head is splitting. Uh, are you okay? Can you not tell that she's not? We shouldn't be here. We really shouldn't be here. Okay, I'll leave. It looks like there's something in here, though, in the back. No, that's a sign that we shouldn't be here if she's being like that. No, I'll, I'll leave her now. I can always go back anyway. Um, I know normally I would be like really curious and like try to find out what it is, but I don't want to take my chances. Uh, if there's a save near here, then maybe I will do it, but... 
Not now. Why, sister? It hurts, it hurts. After her, I die. The pain will continue forever. No! No, 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 no! Oh, that's not good. Sis, you lied to me. You're going to leave me behind, aren't you? I will never forgive you. Hey, red is bad, so I'm not going to talk to you. Uh-huh. So this is the same exact format. Not format, sorry. This is the same exact school, you know? But, um... In the last chapter, we came from this side. Not down here. Interesting. Um, well, there is this pathway down here. That's this one. Ooh! Entrance way? I don't know why I went down that way. <laughs> Let's see this, though. Uh-huh. Cool. This is nearly the entrance. Front entrance way might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it'll ever open. Okay. Interesting. So, is that all I can explore? Yeah, right? What is this again? Oh, that's just where I came from. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I see a place where we can put something there. Alright, well, I guess let's go risk it for the biscuit and go inside. Alright. Ew. Hey! Ah, what the heck? Stay back! Don't scare me like that, jeez! You absolutely positively must not look into his eyes, okay? Uh, that's a sign that I should not look into his eyes, I suppose. Well, I mean... If I just don't face you, that's... Oh, I didn't even think about how I'm gonna get back. <laughs> Uh, rusted, blood-soaked nail puller. Nail puller? What's a nail puller? Is that the thing on the end of a hammer? Is that that is? What a nail puller is? I didn't even think about how I'm gonna get back. Oh, I guess I could just go up here, and then just go here, and then go here. Easy money, easy money, easy money, easy money. Nail puller? What am I gonna use a nail puller for? There's victims' memoirs. Oh, great. You ate your friend. Amazing. Uh-huh. Great. Awesome. Amazing. So fun. Okay. I guess the other option is to talk to the evil ghost. Which <laughs> is stupid. I would never actually do that if this were a real situation. Like, you could clearly see it's evil. But, okay. I hate you, sister. It hurts. Oh, I guess it's fine. Uh, nail puller, you say? Nail puller? Pale, uh, protects- oh! Pale Violet, that is Amethyst. Protected Sparrow from harm. Um, nail- uh, no. What? Found in class before A, it's a plain rusted nail pulled- nail puller made of iron. Nail puller. Where can I use a nail puller? Nail puller, nail puller, nail puller. Um, I didn't even get to see, like, what was that across from the guy. Like, there was something across. Let's go look at it. Alright. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, yeah, I didn't get to see what that was. Oh, I guess I can't even- I can't even see what that is. Um, so... Bestie... How am I gonna- <laughs> How do I investigate you? I really wanted to look at you. Will that work? Oh. Okay. So it doesn't work. I was thinking I could just like have like a dialogue option if I just kind of stood across from it, but that did not work. Uh ha ha ha. I didn't mean to go back. Oops. Go back. Okay, nail puller. <sighs> nail puller. Where can I use that? I don't even know where to use that. What was on the, uh, the, the top floor again? Oh, it was like a, 
like the door kept knocking me back if I remember correctly. What is this? Nothing. So let me go back there. Oh, what is it? What? Oh, she got possessed. Hey, Shinazaki, where are you going? She got possessed. What the heck was that all about? She got possessed. That's what that was all about. <laughs> she got possessed. And that's what this room is for, I guess. Shinazaki, there you are. What are you do? No one is saying that. Today is my daughter's birthday. She's turning seven. We're going out together to celebrate. What are you doing? That's disgusting! Oh no, what's happening? Why are you both looking at me like that? I'm sorry I can't like scream. I wish I could scream, but my parents are gonna- not parents. My mom is gonna get concerned with me. Hey. Sh Shinozaki, hey. Hmm? Kishinuma! What's wrong? She got possessed. Uh, you're saying some pretty weird stuff just now. Was she not aware? Must be the pressure. Her nerves probably shot all to heck by now. Uh, never mind. Probably just my imagination. Don't worry about it. She got possessed. That's what happened. <laughs> uh, nothing. I just saw this right now. Memoirs, I hold in the palm of my hand a piece of a person's body. Cool. Eating humans. Amazing. Uh, wrong way. Equal up possess. That's so great. Oh! <laughs> I like how I immediately went back. It's that ghost from the before. It left the classroom. Don't. Don't let it touch. Okay, no problem. Is it gonna come in here? <laughs> Is this a bad decision? Was I was I not supposed to go this way? Because I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this. Oh wait, but that means maybe that means I can do something in here now that it left. Maybe? I hope it doesn't follow me inside. <laughs> if it does, it's over. Because <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get out. Uh alright, so go here. Can I not do anything there? So what was the point of him leaving? Was that just to make life harder for me? Because if it was, then they did a very good job. Because I don't know how I'm going to avoid it. Is that really it? I'm interacting with everything, by the way. <laughs> Please don't tell me it's going to like be right in front of the door. Okay, good. Because I was going to get scared if it was. Um, I don't know where to go now. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. I was thinking you use a nail puller on this, but I don't think that's gonna work. Nothing down here, nothing down here. Alright, please don't tell me he's over here. Just oof, don't tell me he's over here. Okay, good, good. Good sign, good sign. <gasps> Oh no! Come here, come here, buddy. Just, just come here. Come on, come here, come here. We're gonna juke you out. We're gonna juke you out. We're gonna juke you out. Come over here. Nope. Come over here. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Can't go there. Nothing down there. So go back, I guess. That's the only other place I can go. To my knowledge, at least. Oh, this is a good time to save anyway. Oh my gosh, thank goodness I remembered to go back. This is a great time to save. We've been playing for 12 minutes since our last day. That would have been bad. Alright, let's go back, right? Let's see what we can explore. I'm pretty sure there's nothing down here, but just gonna double check. Nope, nothing. Um, I don't know. What shall we do? What shall we do? Can I read the note that they left? Yeah. Looks like she hasn't come back yet. I can't believe she'd still be out there looking- Okay. 
reading. I just can't do it. Uh, yeah, it's because she's dead, actually. Um, but, you know, um, maybe it wasn't for a bad cause. You know, maybe she did actually, like, spare you guys' lives, you know? Nothing. <sighs> nail puller? What the heck am I gonna use a nail puller for? I don't even... There's nothing on this side either, if we go to the right, because it's closed off. Like... Unless I have to like unlock a door or something, I don't know. Nothing, nothing, nothing over there. Mm. Can we go to open something? No. Huh. Nothing down here. Or maybe, let me go back to that cabinet up there. I don't know, but the two cabinets were just full of like bugs and stuff. There's probably nothing useful in there either, but let's just check. Yeah, cool. Cool. Um, I see another room over there. Your entrance, maybe? No. Entrance, entrance, entrance? No. Hmm. Interessante. Very, very interesting. Uh, I'm stumped, I will not lie. I'm just a tiny bit stumped. A little bit stumped. That's just like the P liquid, right? Yeah. Ah! Hmm. Okay, perhaps perhaps this walk through time. I haven't I haven't touched uh <laughs> the what's it called? I have not touched the walkthrough in a second. But let me go find you walk through, right? This is called blood covered, right? I really hope that it is. <laughs> I really, really hope that it is. Oh my gosh, there's there's multiple endings to the. Are you kidding me? There's multiple endings to the chapters. Bro. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let me read this out loud. So true end, one star. After Seiko- okay, so I got one star, so that means I got the- the- the, the true end, right? Okay, okay, cool, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to read the ending of this- of this chapter, but I guess I'll just read it anyway, whatever. Uh, it says- oh, we are very much far from the ending. Read all pieces of the victim's memoir in order. Oh, I'm supposed to read those? I was not aware that I had to actually read- I think I only read two? Did I? I'm pretty sure I only read two. Okay, let's go find the memoirs then. Because apparently I need to find that. It says, near the corpse outside 4A, I did that one. South of the main building, I did that. Hidden room, hidden room. But, oh, maybe the nail pullers for this door. This door that's in this classroom. Because I thought, wasn't it closed? Didn't it say like, it's closed by like hair? Or was that the other classroom? I can't even remember. It might be this one. Nailed shut. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nail puller. I forgot about this door. Okay, so let's go through here. Uh... Uh-huh. 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 Uh... Do not read the victim's memoirs to the conclusion. Um... But this walkthrough says I should. But wait, this looks very familiar. Victim's memoirs. I've been searching every last corner of the school building, trying to find a way of escaping with her, but it's not happening. No matter how much we struggle, there's only misery. Okay, cool. This thing, though, it appears to be a control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system, rigged with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. There's a lever jutting out from one side. Yes. Pull it. That's- that's... Connected to- yeah, that's connected to that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So now we go back there. Okay, I got it from here. 
That's all I need to know. <laughs> I just need to know where the heck to use the nail puller. Okay, let's go back down and hopefully not die. But, you know, I can't make any promises. Okay, I'm pumped now. I'm pumped. Because I know what I'm doing now. Alright, 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 alright. So now... We go down here. And then we simply pull the lever down there. I was wondering, like, why is that there if we can't even interact with it? You know what I mean? But uh, now that we know... Hey, hey! Now that we know... We gonna, we gonna go, 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 we go, 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 this are dangerous, not dangerously close, but oh! <gasps> what? There is no, there is absolutely no way I can escape this dude. <sighs> oh! Did I save you? She said, but it couldn't be, could it? Oh my gosh! <gasps> That was cool. That was actually kind of cool. Oh, it's still chasing me? Is it? Is it still chasing- <gasps> <Ooh, ooh, ooh. laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> that was actually a cool detail. That was a cool detail. I won't lie. That was pretty cool. We used the power stone, which is the amethyst, which is like a protection stone. According to its meaning. And then that protect, that was cool. Oh no, there's, uh, yeah, let's go. That was cool. And then Miss Yui, ah, oh, that's cool. Sorry, that was cool. I like that. Good detail. All right, please don't tell me we have to go back there because I really don't want to go back there to avoid it. What's wrong? You need to stop for a minute? No, I just thought this seemed like a good spot. Yes, that's a great spot for another candle. No, Jackson, <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. Give me the candle. Give me the candle. Give me the candle. Yes, 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 yes. Give me the candle. Woo, candle. I will never have an objection to any of your candles. All right, let's go down here first, cause oh, this is the infirmary. Ooh, <laughs> the noise scared me. Okay, let's go back. Okay, okay. So, um. Last time I was in here, a scary ghost chased me around the room. Wait, what does it say? A pair of scissors, both its plays blades. I can't read. Covered liberally in blood. Uh, uh huh, uh huh. There was like alcohol in here. There is like oh, interesting. Yeah, okay, cool. Infirmary. Now, I know the place. I know this floor very well. Uh, we needed a key for this last time, right? Or I don't even know. I don't remember if we uh, unlocked it. Oh, that's... Huh, this is... I placed this down last time. Oh, that's very interesting. Interesting. I don't want to go up there yet because I could see all the blood on the floor. Uh, let's go explore this way first. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I suppose we have no choice. Hello, Mr. Bones. Oh, I completely forgot to like that, like the name tags were a thing. Anyway. Did you hear a voice just now? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. Uh, I think he fell down the stairs, judging by these footprints. Alright, so another memoir, I think. Yep. Uh, I'm writing these memoirs. Should I, should I actually read them? I'm writing these mem memories, memoirs, memories with sticky hands. But it's not me that is sticky, but something else. I hope you're not mad about this. Maybe you'll think I'm a horrible person, but I got hungry again. Really hungry. Like, I was about to die, so... I did something that I shouldn't have done. I promised myself I would stay sane and promised myself I wouldn't do what I did and I'm so, so sorry, really, really sorry, really sorry, but there is no other excuse. 
There's no excuse for what I did. With my bloody hands, I took the thing that I've been squishing and I put it in my mouth and I swallowed it. I ate it, I think that's what it said at the end. Uh, I think he was squishing an eyeball, if I remember correctly. So, <laughs> that's great. Laboratories, oh no, this is where Seiko died. Interesting. Oh my gosh! <gasps> that's them! That's crazy, bro. That's Naomi on the bottom and Seiko on top. Oh, what's this? That is crazy. Wait, so... So, um... So the dimension that we're in right now... Ow, my back hurts so bad. Takes place after Seiko died, right? Is that what's happening right now? And these are just kind of like echoes of, like, the dimensions. Seems stained, but with what? Almost looks like a person. Well, it is a person. Somebody... Somebody died here. I can hear her voice. Is Ayumi like a medium or something? Like, she has so many, like, instances where she's like, Oh, I sense this, and I sense this. Anyway, plus she likes crystals, so... No, no, please, don't! W what's wrong? Uh-oh. Yeah, so she hung herself. Yeah. That's the elephant in the room. <laughs> Whoa. She's hyperventilating. She is really going at it. <gasps> That's crazy. I think she figured out that they that she died, maybe? Dang it all. What the heck is going on around here? That's crazy, bro. Are you alright, Shinazaki? No, obviously not. Ooh, she's gonna get possessed again! Bring me more! You'll do it- Ooh! Um, it sounds like she's being possessed by a cannibal! <laughs> I don't care if you're in- I didn't get to read it. They're mine! I'm sure as heck not sharing with the likes of you! He is twitching. Inup is a real pain in the butt too, you know. Have some pity! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> uh, I would probably say fight it. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. The heck? That really hurt! I believed in you! Why doesn't anyone listen to me? What the heck are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying. <laughs> She's gonna eat me. She's gonna eat me. She's literally gonna eat me. Oh my god. She's gonna eat me, bro. Oh my gosh. She's gonna eat me. No. Ugh. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That poor girl. She's lost her mind and she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts pushed deep down into the pit of your soul and someone else's take their place. Oh, that's it? Um, I... Oh, 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 no, 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 I don't want to. <laughs> I'm scared of her. I'm scared of her now. I'm scared of her. Shinzaki, I shouldn't just walk away from her like this. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to talk to her. But man, I'm really scared of her. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm terrified of her right now. I wonder what did this to her. Um. Shinuma. <laughs> Shoot. What's all the smoke I see? Get the heck out of that stall right this instant. <laughs> I hate when my voice can go that low. That's so weird. 
smoking the tobacco again, were we? Uh, well, no, sir. Then I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again. Expulsion, that's what. I'm sorry. You're a real problem child, you know that? Why do you even come to this school in the first place? Eh. Disowned by your parents, living on your own, got no friends, never go to class. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college with your home life as it is. The thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. That's kind of mean. Wish I could just ask your parents what they think of having a no-good kid like you in the family, but they never once shown their faces around here. Not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. <laughs> My parents aren't exactly proud of me, shall we say. Eh, that's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly not just, just not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours obviously are with you. The problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. Before they become proper adults, they're popping out babies on their own, of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. Actually, you know what? You, you know what? He's honestly not wrong. Like, that's kind of my view on children, too. Like... Let's have, let's have a serious talk for a second. <laughs> let's have a serious talk for a second. I don't understand why there are parents in this world that have kids but don't take care of them. You know what I mean? Like, why would you have a kid in the first place? I understand, like, maybe not, maybe probably not wanting an abortion or something like that. Or just, like, not wanting to give them up for adoption. Stuff like that. I understand that. But, like, if you're going to be, like obviously bad to your kid why would why did you have them in the first place you know what i mean or if you know that you're not gonna be a good parent why would you have a kid you know what i mean he's right about one thing there's no reason for me to stay in the school it really is pointless i should just beat the heck out of this uh d dude the drop out people think as long as they pay school taxes or tuition they're good mommies and daddies well newsflash they're not <laughs> hmm, what's with that look I never hit a teacher before. Oh, oh well. First time for everything. Mr. Subata? Subota? Sorry. Ah, uh, well, if it isn't the class rep. What's up? The vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back at the staff room. Gotcha. Thanks. Hmm, Shinazaki? You've got great eyes, you know that? Always so clear and focused. <laughs> we instructors like your kind best of all. You ever have a problem? You come talk to me about it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that guy. That guy's the worst, I agree. <laughs> Thanks. You're not really any better, huh? <laughs> you were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? What a sad fate it would be to get kicked out of this school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. And you'd regret it later. Yeah, you would. No matter how much of pain in the butt they may be, it may be, and no matter how you think you'll turn out in the end. Just stay in school. Bite your tongue and make it to graduation. Honestly. Why? Why are you crying? Uh, sorry. Whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kishinuma from class 1-5, right? Yeah. I'm Shinazaki from class 1-3. Sorry to butt in like that. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling... <laughs> I was lying, of course. Why is there no visuals for this? I want to watch what's happening. <laughs> I never actually thanked her for what she did that day, for crying on beha my behalf. And I swore to myself, as soon as I realized we were trapped here, that I'd protect her no matter what happens. Okay, let's go back. I feel kind of bad now. This must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Yeah, okay, I feel bad. <gasps> Why the heck are you doing this? Answer me! She no- Oh. You've got to be kidding me. What? Oh. <gasps> Did I just, like, straight up die? <laughs> Did I- Oh my gosh, I actually died. Oh my gosh. Uh... What? 
In addition to multiple broken bones all throughout his head and neck, Yoshiki's ribcage shattered on impact and pierced his lungs. As he convulsed and writhed in an ever-growing puddle of his own blood and internal fluids, his vision hastily grew dark. The last thing he saw was a figure with wide, empty eyes and an unnatural smile stretched across the length of its... <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> stretched across the length of its face, rocking slowly back and forth in admiration of its handiwork. Ayumi was clearly very pleased with herself. Oh no! Was that a wrong decision to leave her? Was I not supposed to leave her? Oh no! Uh oh. <laughs> Oops. Wrong end. I didn't even know that's a okay, so there is like multiple endings. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Okay. Uh so oh shoot. Can I read do that. No, continue. Oh my gosh. If I press new game, I would be so mad right now because I don't want to do that all over again. Okay, maybe I shouldn't leave her next time. Probably. Oh shoot, outside infirmary. Oh, I have to do it all over again. Okay. Uh, okay. Well then, let's go back, I guess. I don't want to have a wrong- I don't want to end the stream on a wrong end, are you kidding me? Uh, I think this way. So, we go up here. And uh, we go down here. Should we read that? I don't know. I mean, I don't remember. I don't think we have to read that. Okay. They start talking. Can I, like, skip through all this? I'm just gonna press spam click C. That's interesting! I didn't know that there's, like, wrong ends and stuff like that. That's kind of crazy. Uh, let's go to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Mm hmm Gotcha. Yep. I want to investigate that. You already know what it is, but I just want to see what happens. I want to see what they say. Can I walk back? I can't. Cool. Okay, so this time, let's not leave her. Maybe we weren't supposed to leave her. Because he mentioned like, oh, maybe this is a test, you know? So maybe we weren't supposed to leave her. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. So true. Mm hmm. You're so right. Yeah. Hey! Hide it. Okay, so no matter what, we're gonna stick with her because she was there for us. So, according to her little backstory, so now we're gonna be there for her. Right? That's what's happening, right? This is not me controlling this, by the way. Alright, let's go back to talk to her. Hey, buddy. Ayumi is staring at you as if transfixed with an unnaturally wide smile stretch- Uh oh. Smile stretch across her face, I think? Yeah? You're just gonna chill? Okay. Interesting. Uh... Okay... So, okay, maybe let's look in here. There's probably nothing in here. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go here, I guess. I did want to see what would happen if I interacted with these. It almost feels like there's someone here. It really gives you the creeps. Oh, what the hell? This I accidentally... The stall is pitch black inside. Dark stain. Okay. Uh, Shinazaki. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? Okay, that's interesting. Oh no, it's the same- okay. Yeah, yeah. We've been through this. Yeah, tobacco. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this going to be the same ending? Please don't tell me it's going to be the same ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. So true. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Later. Mm-hmm. No way she's gonna kill us in the bathroom. What is she gonna do? Push me against the sink or something? Okay, let's see if there's anything else. I actually thanked her. And I swore as soon as I realized we're trapped here that I'd protect her. Must be a test. What's she gonna do to me now? What's she gonna do to me now? <gasps> oh, that's so nice! Please, come back to me, Shinazaki. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason, no reason for you to stay like this. Imagine she kills me right here. <laughs> That'd be really funny, actually. So, warm. Aww. Kishinuma? Where? What? Shinazaki, you're... Ow, is it you? Are you back? What? Do you? <gasps> okay, I think we're on the right track. So what you're saying? Yeah, so far, all the corpses we found in here have been people we never met before. But that stain was left behind by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. <sighs> And the next thing I knew, I was in your arms and you were squeezing the life out of me. <laughs> yeah, we killed her. Woo! Couldn't she just say hugging? <laughs> Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that was just this once. Your intuition is wrong. <laughs> oh, I remember! She did say in the beginning that she has like a good intuition, right? Is that what she said? I don't remember. But I can feel all her pain. I was freezing cold except my throat was so hot. It felt like, oh, so Seiko possessed her, maybe? And then I voided my bowels and everything went dark. No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and my legs just wouldn't move. I wanted to yell out, help me, but I had no voice. I was scared, and the pain was so excruciating. Calm down, Shinazaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. Well, we searched the whole building. Miss Yui really is nowhere to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom? Yeah, that's probably best. No Satoshi or the others, though, either. Cool! Wait, so we're ending- we're going back to the classroom, right? That's what we're doing? Alright, let's go back then. Let's go back, and then we can, like, save, and then we can, like, stop. You know what I mean? Because it has been an hour. And I got- Ooh, no! Can I walk out? I don't want to follow that. <laughs> okay, um, well... Let's just- uh, Getting a conversation and laughter can be heard wafting out from in the infirmary. <laughs> really? <laughs> <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> Who is Mayu? Do we know Mayu? That's right. It's safe for me. I love my school. <laughs> Suzumoto, get away! You need to run, quickly! And my homeroom teacher's the best. But I guess you feel the same way about yours, too, huh? <laughs> Suzumoto, hey! Step out of it! Suzumoto, it's us, okay? Oh! Shinozaki... Kishinuma... Can you stand? Come on, we're right here! No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Huh? They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this and you'll see what I mean. Heavenly Post. Four children abducted. Follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have been have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. Oh, so that's why that one spirit was like, teachers don't care, you know what I mean? 
The scissors he held were are confirmed to have been used to cut out the victim's tongues. Uh oh, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically oh, removed. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. That's probably the, that girl right there, huh? <laughs> the heavenly host elementary students pictured here are the four who were. F oh, that was um. Okay, so this entire floor or this entire chapter is explaining the deaths of these kids because that one closet was like, oh, these four kids, children, kids, picture of the kids, you know? And then there's also that one thing that was like, oh, the scissors bloodied. Okay, so interesting. And then the last, what was the last chapter about? Like, what was that centered around? I can't even remember, but anyway, the heavenly host helmet just, yeah, huh? Of these children, one was something when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was something blood, something. Newspapers torn, bottom half of this article is missing. Those ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as the children in these photographs. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier is one of them too. Yeah. I c and I guess the last one is the one that killed the teacher, huh? I can't just ignore these poor souls. I'm going to stay with them. Aw, oh, she's too nice. I don't think that's a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of this room. So interesting. She's she's also in here, but where does she come from? <laughs> like, we searched the entire place. Where does she come from? Anyway. Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Oh, no, stop. What's happening? Oh. Shinazaki. Dang it, what the heck did they do? What did they do? Ooh! Um... So I really can't go anywhere near them? Come a play! Uh... Okay, so she's just gonna be stuck there for a while. I guess this is a good time to end it. End the stream for a little bit. Oh! For a little bit? Okay. I'm so cold, I feel like I'm freezing! We can't even touch her, much less get her down. So what the heck do we do? I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to! Whoa, your nose is bleeding. What? Don't tell me that, jeez. You're so blunt about it too. Honk? Did you say honk? Uh, would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? Hello. Can I- uh, She's got eyes like a dead fish. You've only just arrived at the school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Um... Your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? Did it- What? Who's that? Yeah, who is that? High school paranormalist, Naho Sainoki. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah. She's also pretty well known for communing with spirits and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Sainoki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering. Though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Your last posting was about- Oh! Was about the Sachiko Ever After charm. Great! <laughs> I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hey, sorry to interrupt. But did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own volition, on purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about, I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. Yeah, that's true. That's right! Do you have an idea of what we can do to save her? Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. Oh, why did my voice shake like that? In the process, I learned that these closed spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School through the sorrow and agony of its victims. 
victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before her time. Wow. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. The four kids' pictures is in that newspaper article. It sure seems like the... Unfortunately, this place took a toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems- okay, so how come she isn't, like, suffering right now? Because isn't, like, anyone who dies here, like, experiences, like, suffering for, like, the rest of, like, eternity? And she's just chilling. <laughs> she's just chilling. But the key seems to lie with these children. Those children. If they can be put to rest, there must be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. At, uh, all this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this place. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest? How the heck do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying- The murderer is here in the school, yes. Oh my- Jeez. Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would it even begin? You need to do whatever you can, and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Alright, so that's the first thing we're gonna do next time <laughs> in the next stream. I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher, but I'm going to take your word anyway. You on your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thanks. And let's go save. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't. Woohoo! She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. Unazaki. She needs to get out of the school or she can be in real trouble. Dang it, why is there no exit? Yay, we're gonna talk about all that next time. Next stream, we will talk about all that. Let's save right there. Cool! Well... That... That's all for today. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of this game anyway, honestly. Too much horror ga for one game, you know what I mean? Hold on, how do I, how do I quit? Well, I save. Okay. Yeah, that's, all, that's enough for today. Whew. What a game. What a game indeed. Phew. Anyway. So. We got a lot done today. Uh, Minecraft didn't work, unfortunately, which I'm really sad about because I really wanted to play Minecraft, but it didn't want to work. But, um... Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. But we play Course Party, which is good because I wanted to play Course Party anyway this week. But, um... The next time I'll be live will be, I believe, on Thursday, and I'll play... I think I'm playing Stardew Valley. But girl, I don't even know if it's gonna work. We're gonna see. If it doesn't work, more course party. <laughs> or we can choose uh or we can just do a what's it called? Uh or we can just draw. Do 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 do. Hi Neko. Hmm. So Thursday, if I can't play Stardew Valley, I feel like I should be able to because it's really low intensive. Uh then I'll do art because I haven't drawn in a long time. Uh and then on Saturday. Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, I think. I'll be playing horse party again. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm really sorry Minecraft didn't work out. I really, 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 really want to try playing it, but it didn't work, and I'm sad about it. But um, I don't know. I'll try to try to see what that is wrong with my computer. I'm I'm just confused because like I just don't know what's wrong. Everything was working fine for like forever, and then suddenly just kind of doesn't work anymore. But anyway. I'll see you tomorrow. Not tomorrow, sorry. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I'll see you Thursday. And uh, yeah. I'll let the music ride up for a little bit, but have a good night. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'm going to think about Course Party now, because honestly, 
I I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Like, <laughs> I'm scared now because like I just found out there's multiple endings to each chapter. So like, <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you guys to it. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you Thursday, and goodbye.